Yo, what's going on, guys? The Eagle Talks World back again with another video. Turkish has responded uh, to Northside, LDN, Chez, and Ligana, and everybody else. And I just need to play you guys the video as I think Turkish's response was eloquent. It was on point and it was very, very passionate. So let me play it for you guys. And this was on the Big Six uh, earlier today. So, yeah, just uh, I'm going to play a short section of it so check it out um i do actually think it'll be over pretty soon first 20 I'm, points of city are you ended are also saying how can you want tottenham in my standards are also saying how can you want tottenham to win think about it you would rather tottenham lose nobody's tottenham you'd rather they lose that they're, they're nobody's to us you'd mm. rather they lose and we don't win the premier league title is that look an idiot with a million that's so true you would rather arsenal lose the premier league and tottenham than tottenham win one premier league game so the fact that tottenham could win one premier league game or draw one premier league game that would benefit arsenal means more to you than arsenal winning the premier league make that make sense that's kind of messed up when you think about it. It is it's very messed up. But yeah, let's let's go back to what Turkish had to say. Balancing, balancing. Your hate, your you hate for the giveaway is higher Tottenham. than. Yeah, it's mad. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make. Don't no ever sense. question my standards, people. Don't ever question my standards. Yeah, because you lot, are, it's very hypocritical. A lot of the shit people say online. It's very true because they're questioning his standard of wanting to win trophies. But yet these people are willing to lose the trophy because they would rather have Tottenham get smashed by Man City. Yeah, the standards are we want to win the fucking league year in, year out. The standards will never finish above Tottenham. St. Totteringham's Day was like Mother's <laughs> Day back in the day. It was every fucking <laughs> season. It comes. Facts. St. Tottenham's Day is the last thing we cared about. All we cared about was winning the league. And all we care about now is still winning the goddamn Premier League. And if that means we need Tottenham to get a result versus Man City today, and that is what's going to be the difference between Arsenal winning the league or not, I have no shame in saying I want Tottenham to get some points dropped. I mean, I want Man City to drop points, and I need Tottenham to do that. So if Tottenham get the result, I'll be happy. It doesn't make me a fake fan. It doesn't make Turkish a fake fan. It doesn't make anybody a fake fan. Wanting Tottenham to pick up points today, bigger picture means we win the goddamn Premier League. And if you, being an Arsenal fan, feel more annoyed by the fact that Tottenham is winning a game and you're rooting for them to win a game, then you rooting for your team to win a Premier League, then you have a problem. We can't go back and retrospectively look at every single drop point and say, why didn't we do that and, and not depend on the team? Every team in Premier League history has needed other teams to pick up points off people at some point or another throughout the season. You don't win every single game of every single game week. That's never happened. So at some point, you're going to need somebody to pick up points off your uh, off your title rival. And if it's so be it be a rival of yours, well... So be it. But yeah, let's hear what else Turkish had to say on this topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> seven years of Tottenham finishing above us whilst we still won trophies. Don't mean Tottenham. Don't bring Tottenham to me when we're talking Premier League titles. Do I believe mm. I'll do it? No. But don't ever question my standards. When I said the reason why he keeps saying don't question his standards, because I'm not gonna lie, Turkish is one of the guys who stayed consistent. His standards were always to challenge and to be up here at the top. And now that we're back up here, he's happy. Certain people are just never going to be happy. It doesn't matter what happens. But yeah, let's continue. Because you mentioned the, um, we don't have to go over the line thing. I said that when I'm talking about loving your club. You don't love your club because they win trophies. You love your club for more than that. 110%. You did not fall in love with your football club only because of trophies. 
you fell in love with the club because maybe you had a connection to that club. Maybe your parents or your family were like that club. Maybe it was the first team you went to go watch live. Maybe one of your favorite players played for that club. There's something more than just silverware that made you fall in love with the club that you support. We don't all support our clubs for different for the same reason. But one thing I can tell you, trophies alone is not the only reason why you support the football club or else you would not be supporting that one team because let's be honest, Arsenal Football Club, we have not won that many silverware as much as other people in our, in, in our most recent history. Maybe in the early uh, uh, 2000s and late 90s, uh, we did that. But as of late, not as much as other teams. So everybody has a reason why they support the club. And I think it's more than just silverware. Trophies and stuff, you play for that, yes. But the love for the sport, the love for the team runs deeper than just the love for silverware. Or else you're a glory hunter. And all you do is chase glory. And if you're chasing glory, you're at the wrong club because we haven't won silverware like that in a long time. But yeah, let's go back to what Turkish and these guys had to say. Getting over the line, yes, that is the success. That is the be-all and the end-all. But getting over the line isn't the reason you love your club. You love your club for more than just trophies. So that's it. Mm. That was tongue in cheek for me, by the way. Like, well, I wasn't. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cooked, I agree he cooked, with you. Cooked. Yeah, you know what? That was passionate. That was emotional. And I think Matisse says it here. He cooked. It's true mm. though. Like, like true. you can't have Tottenham. Your hatred for Tottenham be more important than your own team winning because effectively, if Tottenham win, you win a whole Premier League. Which one's going to mean more to you, Tottenham? Be facts. And if your hatred for Tottenham is more valid than your love to win individual uh, team awards, then you don't have your priorities straight. In City on a random Tuesday night where they probably still don't get Champions League football, or you lifting a fucking title, bro? Like it's not comparable. It's not like. It's not. It's not comparable. Thank you, Matisse. These guys are keeping it real. You guys need to have your priorities checked out. Straight up. Straight up check your priorities. If you are ashamed to say that you're you're rooting for Tottenham to beat Man City or pick up points off Man City, just say you're hoping Man City drop points to Spurs. But either way, you want Man City to drop points. If you're saying you want Spurs to get smashed by by, by Man City, you don't have Arsenal's best interests at heart. You don't care about winning. You don't care about us getting this over the line. I know the likelihood of it happening is quite low, but still, you should want it to happen. And I think when people are talking about standards, they should check themselves first. I fully agree with Turkish there. But yeah. That was his response to Chez and everybody else. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys agree with Turkish? Do you disagree? And I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully Tottenham drop points. And I'll be back with another video very, very soon.